G'day everybody and welcome back for some more Terraformers with TFE unconscious as per usual. What? Not how again. Could, how could you see him? <laughs> what do you mean? He, bl he blended yeah. <laughs> right into the environment. Uh, what is wrong with you, TFE? TFE is here. Uh, ah, out of oxygen. How? <laughs> Probably because you breathed it all. Maybe you sprung a leak. Hmm. It looks like your filters are fine, your AC's fine, your air's on, all the things. Um, oh, my jetpack can't lift off with you. You're too heavy. Hey! Don't insult my way. <laughs> well, isn't that the more I'll powerful jetpack? <laughs> yeah, more powerful I could set it up to I could set it up to higher force to lift off better with you. No. Uh so, what's everyone's no. plans for today? I have had an idea. That sounds concerning. So these airlocks icing up. Yes. It's because for whatever reason certain gases are collecting inside the, the door area. Yes. So shouldn't we able shouldn't we be able to fix it by just having a vent that's constantly running, sucking the air out and venting it somewhere else, except for when it cycles. Uh um... so it's so it's running until you're cycling the airlock and then it shuts off. Well, why don't you test it with our test airlock? You'll have to remove your extra door, but test adding an extra thing to it. And I see like if it does my work. extra door. It's a cool door. Yeah, but it's obviously not going to be a proper test then, is it? Uh, also, I'll have to remember how to do things. Oh. Alternative was that we try to actually heat the air before the airlock fully cycles. Yeah. So, so all the gas melts. So I've been thinking about doing a custom airlock with MIPS. Yeah, we talked about trying to get that working together, yeah. maybe. Are you, are, you, are you game to teach, Nev? Sure. <laughs> uh, so somebody's already set up a vent in. Oh, I maybe. was just about to go out that door. Dang oh, it. I, I wanted to get in because I need some water. Yeah. So, what is this vent? Um, we tried to have a vent in there that tries to blow out the eyes, but it didn't really work. Yeah. Oh, okay. So right. So yeah, we so just got to reverse Adding pressure to the vent then. wasn't working. So. And Shadow, what are you up to today? Bug fixing because I realized my code is not entirely functional. Uh, was this your um, cooler code? Oh. Yep. It's not actually cooling. I don't, you don't need to install when the cooler is done. Ah. Yeah, I was I was get, meaning I realized I didn't actually ask you to run me through what you'd done in the code. As in what it's doing, because I was curious. Um basically I was planning on being your rubber ducky, because I'm about as useful as one. Yeah. Wait, I thought you couldn't run cables through pipes. No, you, oh, you couldn't can if run them. perpendicular. Oh, okay. What you doing? I should probably if I just get some oxygen ice and release it in here, it should probably be okay, right? Probably. Uh, do you want me to force feed you? <gasps> I already ate. Oh, okay. I've got some pure carbon dioxide I could release in here. <laughs> uh... Sure, why not? <laughs> I will go get some oxygen. Do you want to come out this time? Yes, I do. Thank you. Uh, oxygen had nitrogen in it as well anyway, didn't it? Yeah, it did, so that's fine. Uh, should we just go mine some? Quickly, unless there's uh, a ton there. Oh, I will check how much we have. Oh, there's plenty here. You're seeing if you can catch it, TFA. Trying to. <laughs> Chuck it. See if I can. Uh, Hang on, I'll love it up. <laughs> Sorry. It does uh, kind of disappear briefly. It does. I got it. Oh, hey. Yeah. How are these vents connected oh. to the? Oh, the fact it disappears really doesn't help. Did you get it? Yep. It didn't look like it bounced. Got it. Hey. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. Bad throw. Do the vents use the power lines for communication? Yes. Weren't you just going to use this one and just set it to sucking? I mean, yeah, to blowing? I'm, I'm, it, it, that's what it's set to at the moment. I'm yeah. trying to figure out how to set. So what I'm thinking is all it all it needs to do is it needs to only be active when the outer door is open. Right. So you can do that with a logic circuit. Just a couple of logic chips. 
So you have a logic chip that pulls the state of the door, a logic chip that, uh, like computing off that, and then a logic chip that's telling this to be on whenever the door is open. Okay. So that um, that, like, I would honestly think that's probably easier to do with logic chips than it is with an IC10, because it's such uh, a basic setup. Unless Nev and Shadow disagree with me. <laughs> Oh, oh. I guess it depends who's doing it. If you're very used to it, it takes like a few seconds, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I suspect, because Capax used the logic chips before, so I suspect he'll be quicker with that. Yeah, it was a long time ago, though. Yeah, so you'd rather write code, Capac? Uh, well, I'll just get chat GPT to do it. All right. So I guess what we probably want to do is either duplicate this is potentially duplicate this airlock, this test airlock, so that we can build a functional custom airlock controller on a test airlock, so we can let Capac at it and see if he can break it. Maybe even let Shadow at it, see if, see if the two of them combined can break it. Once we have something that we think works. Uh, yeah, we probably want to. Uh, well, we we could use this one, or we leave this one so Capac can see if his thing works. Yeah, I thought I thought we. See if Capac, because Capac's system's quite, quite neat if he can make it work, because it means we don't have to do a full custom thing. But at least I figure if we set up a custom thing, I'll learn something useful. And it might also be faster if you have like a two by one airlock later. Yeah, because I'd like to do a bigger airlock for the main base so that we can all go through it together. Yeah, uh, we can definitely combine more, more vents or use a bigger vents for yeah. custom airlock. Big powered vents that we just got access to. Uh, where is this door connected to power? It's under this floor, isn't it? Oh yeah, you need to take out the flooring. Try to make it look nice to see if it works better, if the ice doesn't uh, get stuck in the nooks and crannies. So, now have you made a whole bunch of materials, haven't you, for building? Yeah. Where? Which locker have they been put in? Uh, this one, more oh, or less. Over here. Okay. Okay. So... We go and... Oh yeah, these, these are the steel sheets and the other side has uh, all the ingots I made. Could you make up a few walls? I'll make up a floor area and put down the doors and if you could make up a few walls so that we can build this airlock oh. and then... What are we building like 2x2 two two again or something like that? Yeah, I'll I think just, just make like 10 walls or something to start yeah. with. Yeah, I think just a little, a little room like we did with this test airlock and just go from there. I just like the idea of running a test airlock because then we don't accidentally kill our plants. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> it's, it seems a smart way to do things. I think Shadow would murder me if I murdered her plants. I would, yes. <laughs> that was... Also, who is not refilling the water bottles? I just put it back in the uh, thing. I drank from it and put it straight back. Yeah, I also put an empty one into the filler. Oh. Was the filler I almost off? forgot to close my helmet. I was when leaving exiting. the ones in the cupboard empty because I feel like it's better just to run off the two that are in the filler. I didn't touch the cupboard, the... just used the filler. Yeah, the ones in the cupboard we can better keep filled so we have a backup. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. Uh, where are we yeah, building this new test airlock? Over here. Because what I'd like to do, um, if we can get a basic airlock functioning, then I'd like to add it so that we can add extra fence to it. Yeah, if we, if we design the IC program just from the start to support multiple vents... Yeah, though uh, it can only register to six it. devices. So we may need two well, IC10s. Well, sort of, but you can use batch commands now. So you can, like, group the devices. You just have to name them consistently then. Ah, oh, okay. Cool. Alright, so I've got a pair of doors. I'll put so those down. Is it logic reader to read the state of the device and then writer to write a new state of something device. else? Yeah. Yeah. You need like two logic IOs. I already got them. If the logic reader annoys you, get a what is it called uh, the pay, uh, label gun, because you can just set the state instead of going through the. Yeah. Yeah. Use the label yeah, that, maker that's, to that's do right. things as well. So we'll put down solid walls so we can actually put stuff here. Um. I'd probably go with solid on this side and glass on this side. 
so that we can see in. Although at least with two of us playing around with it at the same time, one of us can be in the airlock seeing what's happening with like their monitor out and checking stuff, which is definitely beneficial. Uh, I need to go get some plastic to build those walls. I guess I can start placing vents and things in. Uh, which way are we building the vents now? Are we using pass-through to the outside and inside, or do we just use tanks? What do you mean? Um, for example, the normal airlocks are all designed, like you have an active vent in oh, the yeah, airlock, yeah. and then a passive vent in the room, and a passive vent to the outside. I... But instead of doing that, you could just pump whatever is in the airlock into a tank, and then reuse that whenever you cycle to that side again. It should be faster. It's It should be faster. The downside of it is that if there's any times that you need to rush the airlock, you can end up with extra pressure building up in those tanks. So we'll need, we need to have an additional safety setup for those tanks. What I was thinking was um, we use the standard uh, active vent to a passive vent, but put some of the inline tanks in and then put a pressure regulator valve on it so that it stays higher pressure in there. So it's kind of like a tank, but a tank with a, an off, a release valve, which is the passive vent. Which I guess is kind of the same as what you were saying to do. Uh, hmm. Can we do that? Well, if you have a, like a tank, only a tank, it's... A, it's hmm. It pressurizes. But the... the it's easier to do that with only the tank because you don't need to actually monitor the pressure inside the airlock. You just empty the tank and be done with it. But I suppose we can do both so that the airlock actually gets filled to a desired pressure. It's just a bit more cold, but I guess it's fine. Well, I think since we're going to be needing to check for temperature anyway, uh, checking for pressure is not a big deal. It's kind of the same code, just different variable yeah yeah it's 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 just different yeah it's fine i'm saying things like i know things but pff, who knows if i'm actually right <laughs> he has the appearance of an expert i mean i have written ic10 code before it's done things Did i don't know that it's done useful them? things but it's done things uh, i wonder how we how we'll actually do that we can't look at the same screen can we um it does, at least in single player, it shows up on the screen what's being done. Uh, where is Shadow into her laptop? Can I see what's on the screen? Uh -huh. yeah. We could. The wrong way around. We could make a regular old computer rather than a laptop, so then the screen's a bit clearer. Uh, it's maybe oh. for for <laughs> testing. It's probably a good idea because then we can leave the IC in the installed position that connects the computer to it. Instead of shuffling the IC between the housing and the laptop. Um, yeah. yeah I, will, I will go assemble a computer and okay. finish the airlock. See TFE's making more basketballs? Or is it just the what? first two you made? I only made two. Is there more? No, no, no. Yeah. It's because they make so fast I couldn't cancel it quick enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. Are you, are you, what are you planning with the basketballs? Uh... I'm not sure. Are you sure. building like a basketball court over here or what's this going to be? I mean, be? you could do a basketball court, you could do sort of a volleyball. I mean, we proved you could catch it. Yeah. I, Maybe we like can't some really sort of like... bounce it. I mean... I mean, we so could, more volleyball it, we than could basketball? sort of do it like, like sort of a volleyball handball variant where you have to bounce it before it goes over and then catch it. Because then it won't mm. get so high as to disappear from draw distance. Or have a fairly low ceiling, so you can like bounce it off the ceiling and the side walls. Oh yeah, I, I I quite like this idea. Oh hold on, as long as it doesn't break my suit like your ski jump idea did. Yep. Well, that was more. <laughs> Don't say operator error because I know it was. I mean, I was going to say skill issue, but. <laughs> wow. The shade. So come back. Yeah. Your sister thing appears to be lacking electricity to the vent because you haven't connected these two circuits together um because what i was saying oh, yeah. what i was going to say is okay. you you should turn on the vent now and see if it does make the impact that you want it to yeah that's what i'm trying to do <laughs> i just keep running out of cables <laughs> well i'm smelting some copper so 
Oh, yep. there should be a little plenty copper in the secondary electro print. I can just turn on another stack of cables, I guess. It, uh, there's a stack of 50 cables over here. Oh, yeah. I thought I made some last time. I will just made some more. Uh, fake airlock is working. It's already connecting eyes. <laughs> yep. Yeah, okay. This isn't working. Oh, really? I was really hoping it would. <laughs> yeah, uh, like... The vent is sucking the, the air out, but it's not eliminating the ice. Like, the ice is still forming, even though it's being constantly vented, which doesn't make any sense. Hey, I'm not sure it actually manages to, like, reduce the pressure in the cell enough. Yeah. Uh, those look... those pokes through the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, I thought it'd look that interesting. Wait, on the inside? Maybe. But Maybe that'd be better on the wall. Don't let Spl Splitzy build anything. It'll make a bridge that's half coming in through the side of the wall. <sighs> that's oddly specific. Just somebody give me a battery and some jumper cables, and we'll just electrify the floor. That'll heat it up. <laughs> It'll melt any ice that falls on it. Um, Nev, did you want to put the icy housing outside? Well... So we can access Doesn't it really when if the doors decide to misbehave. I suppose so. Uh oh, where's my wrench gone? <laughs> Have you oh, put it down it somewhere? I think it's more. I swapped it for some silicon. I think it's more than your wrench you're missing. That's <laughs> that's probably not completely inaccurate. Well, what else do we need? We need a heater or maybe two, one per cell. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, a couple of heaters. That's right. The the idea with this is I just want to see if the um. At night time, if it's sealed up, if that if the airlock will still ice up or not. Oh right, this as battery in is empty with the standard oh, gas yeah. mix that we currently have. Yeah, if it's just closed, will we just get infinitely spawning ice, or because there's it isn't able to get in there, it'll I, keep it clear. Actually, Kamak, I think you might have come up with a very simple manual solution for this. Well, we'll see when night falls. Well, no, 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 because. So, because the other possibility is ice just forms out of what's in the, the yeah, gas in there. Yeah, but even already. if it does, the problem is that it keeps forming new ice. So you open the manual door, you step inside the airlock, you close the manual door, you pick up all the ice, you put it in your mining belt, you cycle the airlock. Eesh. It's not a great solution. No, no, no. But it's a it's a solid manual one. Well, Nev and I trouble through oh, what is probably uh, going to be fairly hold complex. Hold on, hold on. I have, I have, if it does go like that, I have a much better option than putting it in your mining belt. If I can find... Are you going to find some sort of, are you going to put a refrigerator in there? Oh, oh better. <laughs> uh, do we want to move the heaters to the floor level? So um, it actually heats where the ice is? I'm not sure if that matters. It shouldn't matter because we need to put a, the last thing we need to put in there is a gas sensor, and it'll be where the gas sensor is that will dictate whether it keeps heating or not. Uh, yeah. Although the entire cell should probably heat up as a whole, shouldn't it? Yeah. So basically, we just need to. We'll just have to test what temperature is actually required. For making well, sure that the uh, ice is melted, because it's probably not going to be the temperature well, that you just it need to reach that. like negative ten or something, and it should probably all be gone. I think so, and so that should give us a buffer to make sure that it all sublimates anyway. And I need to go grab a gas sensor. Ah, yeah, that's missing. Oh, and we need two pipe sensors. Huh? If we are going with the tank right. system, hydration load. Tank only, just, and we need two I pipe just sensors. Drink. Okay. The alternative is we just go with the pressure system without uh, with the vents again, then we don't need pipe sensor. Um, I'm interested in this. I've never used a pipe sensor before. Uh, uh, is is that so pipe you can analyzer? Yeah, yeah. Right. Is that so you can go out into the wilderness and find delicious deposits of pipes? <laughs> yes. How much duct, Oh, no, who went in the airlock? 
How much it. volume yeah, goes into one of these pipes? Oh yeah, I'm not sure what pressure we can push that up to. We may need a bigger tank. Apparently it's 300 liters. How much is in the airlock? But if I close the doors, can I actually can you show me that? Um, we could try closing the doors and just, will... just just manually close the doors and suck in the air. Uh, set invert and suck. Which one have you done it to? Well, I can see the tanks from here. Oh, the like tank counts as a tool. Like it's 800, 800 kPa, it's totally fine. Yeah. It's almost like I planned it that way, but you know I didn't. Uh, I see you've got some ice forming in your airlock. Yeah, I mean, that's okay. We're trying to figure out how to defeat <sighs> that. I also have ice forming in this airlock. But if you close the door, does it stop? Like, if you get in there and pick it up and close the oh. door, does it stop forming? Don't, don't know. Is that cable going to be annoying there? Probably not. I kind of want to compare how much is... how much ice is formed. Fair enough. In the different airlocks. See if closing it off has actually limited it or not. It doesn't seem to be slowing down the formation of ice all that much. On the real airlock, it might be nice to have the analyzer visible on the inside. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a bad thought. We can probably talk but, through a lot of that stuff when we go to design our proper one. Cause... Yeah, for this one it's fine, because if you're operating it from the outside for testing, you can see them, so that's good. Yeah. Was... Uh, okay, we still need the IC10 chip, right? Where is it? Yep. Yeah, that looks much nicer. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you happier, doesn't it? Makes me happier. Okay. I discovered that there was a fatal flaw in my plan. I have corrected, and now I need another night of experimentation. Did the fatal flaw kill you? No. Uh, the flaw was fatal to the plan, not to the planner. Ah. That's good. What did you call the pipe sensors again? Stan. Uh, they're just called int and x pipe analyzer. But how you call them in the code doesn't really matter. Just give them some useful name. Well, yeah, I was trying to give them a useful name that we could just read, so to make it easier for me to understand what was going on. As long as it's consistent, like all the devices are like int or x, and then door, vent, analyzer, whatever, that's fine. Yeah, like that? Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Is... Right, then, then install the gas sensor if you already have it. I do. Still need that one. Where can I put the gas sensor? Where have we got some space on this wall? Is anyone in the greenhouse? You could put it on the roof, like in the center. Uh, what do you need? Uh, we're out of food in the uh, living quarters. Wait, there's okay. no potatoes I'll get you some. The fridge is empty. Also, nobody noticed that our airlocks are faster. Uh, maybe? They, they keep changing in speed, it's difficult to keep track. Did you do something to them, Shadow? Perhaps. Did you set their pressures to different values? Oh no, you've added an extra vent? No. Nope, I you just, just reduced the values a little. Ah. See, I thought I'd just match the names up so then we can always look at it and be like, yep, these things match. Once we export that to the... How do we export this to the IC thing? Uh, click export at the top. Oh, it automatically exports to the connected one. Yeah, you, you select the one right in the drop down. There's only one connected, so. Uh, ah, then you can click oh, import right. or export to interact with its code. So, so yeah, you already started with uh, the important stuff, like naming the devices. <laughs> yeah, well, I've, I've, I'm trying to do thing. I'm trying to have good habits. Um, Although you, the X pipe analyzer should be D5, I guess. Oh, I did D6. I'm an idiot. Uh, it's D3, I think. Oh, D3. Why did I write D3? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, That's not a lot of damage. Before, before stuff doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> yeah. A D6 or a D8 is much better. <laughs> D20s. That's where it's at. D20 That's for one. a damage roll. Are you insane? So what I was thinking we needed to begin with for the airlock we need to make sure that we've got a way of making the door buttons work. Yes. And I, I read up on how airlocks are to be done with IC and what options we have, so we can do that very easily. 
Because okay. doors have a logic mode. In yeah. this mode, the button doesn't actually open the door. It just sets a variable that it wants to open. And then yes. you can read that variable with the IC and, uh, well, do, do the thing. Yeah. So hmm. I presume what we want to do first is set the doors to logic mode. Right. Uh, that's usually what you start in every program. You have like an initialization segment at top that just sets everything into the right mode. So start with setting the doors to mode one and to lock zero. So Int I, I'm, I'm not sure how many details I need to tell you, but yeah, setting is just S. Uh, mode one, isn't it? Yes. Logic? S yes. X door mode one. And then do the same with lock, so they are unlocked. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. Well, oh, putting uh, labels is, is usually a good thing, but this for the initialization, we probably don't need it. But you can leave it if it helps to document the code. It, it, hel it helps me to do it, to know what I'm doing in bit. bit. Wait, we want lock one or lock... No, we want lock zero. Lock, lock zero, lock zero. Is not locked. We will lock them when they are cycling, but we want them unlocked for now. And before yep. we... Okay, the doors are in the right state. The one is closed, one is open. So what do we need to do next? Because I was thinking... Um... Right, now we need to figure out if the button was pressed. Because that's yeah. always the start. Um, so we will start with the main loop. Like put a label like start or main or, or whatever you like. Sure, we'll start with main. Um... Then I will probably want to define a variable for each door. Uh, like we have 16 registers, I think, so we can use those for variables. Yeah. So go to the top to your alias section and we will name two registers. Okay. One for one for the interior and one for the exterior door. Like interior wants to open uh, or is open or interior open and exterior open maybe. So int open, ext open sort of thing? Yeah, and like alias register int open. Register 0 and register 1. I would have used the last one so we can use the first ones for logic. Like okay. use 15 and 14 maybe. What's the advantage there? Uh, with what exactly? With using the last registers. Uh, so we can, ones. if we need a temporary variable, we can just use R0 or something and don't have to think which one we already used up. So uh, we, okay. Use, okay. we use the front ones for temporary stuff and the last ones for longer living stuff. So it's a bit okay. clearer which ones are in use. Yep. Makes sense. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go and grab a drink because I'm getting really thirsty. Do you need to grab any food or water? Uh, I just... Well, I guess I would come in as well. It's... Makes sense if we do it at the same time. I've been learning a little bit, so I know some of the basic variables and their positions. One, like with an on and off, well, one is always Technically, on. since it's two devices and we are also setting them, yeah, it's fine. We have them on the pins, so we can just keep them that way. What, could we have set them both at the same with the same line? Yeah, we could have done the same with the doors and the... Uh, uh, how could we do that? Because we may run out of lines. There's only 128 lines, aren't there? Uh, yeah. Let's worry about that if we have to. Okay. But basically you would just, instead of S, you would use SB, which is for set batch. And mm. then instead of referencing the device pin, you would reference its hash. Uh, okay. So So the hash of the doors should match. No, the, the, hash, the hash always matches. It's basically based on the device type. Right, right, okay. Uh, the oh, only so that's thing you have how we're to going make... to reference the heaters, is it? Yes, exactly. Uh, the only thing when using the batch commands, what you have to pay attention to is that you separate your data networks, um, but the APC yep. does it for us. Yeah, yeah. That's why I, anything logic-based, I always put an APC in there just to separate the network so that I know I can't touch anything I don't want to. Yeah, you also get less devices on the pins, and for the batch stuff, it's important, especially. Yep. Alrighty. Okay, now we're in the, at the main okay, loop. Or whatever the purple, purple of the main loop. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Especially with my... Especially with my... Turn off my... Turn off my... Turn off my... Hey, TFE, quick question. 
Yeah. What drill do you have right now? Uh, Mark II. Okay, come and follow me. Ooh. I have something for you. Oh, are you getting him the heavy drill? Yes, I am. Didn't make we talk drill. about the heavy drill last time already? We did. I don't remember anything about it. Bigger I thought drill. We, we wanted to make one or something already. Mm. Anyone else want the bigger drill? Oh. It kind of looks like a there minigun. <laughs> the handle. <laughs> oh dear, it does too. <laughs> it does. It looks like a... Yeah. Who's... Whose cat is point. this? What? Wait, what? There's a cat? Shadow made Where? a cat. What? What? I just opened this door and there's a cat. Yeah. Oh, don't, don't throw the cat. It's a plush. It's fine. Oh, it fell in a pit. Where's it gone? <laughs> Why do we have a plush cat? I'm guessing Shadow made it. Am I I'm correct, Shadow? I'm making welders. But yes, I did. It was so <laughs> cute. I saw it in the list. I had to. <laughs> it was staring at me. Also, who needs an arc welder? Uh, Splitzy and myself already have one. I'm not yeah. sure if someone else okay. already does. It'll be fine. As but long everyone as should be doesn't. using them, yeah. As long as it's have... six degrees right. out right now. We could probably get, like, once TFE's built his ball court. Jeez. Okay, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was getting. Interesting. Uh, maybe. Cool as well. Um, but yeah, once TFE's finished with that, he could just go out mining oxides. <laughs> it's yes. like, watch Kavak toss a cat. <laughs> oh, I really oh, hope Kavak doesn't learn about the energy weapons. Ball? We could do it with a cat rather than with the ball. I mean, ha I mean, how well does the cat bounce? The, oh, yeah. Is the issue. Oh, does it bounce move. forward? Let it bounce. Spins? Let it bounce. It does not bounce. It does not bounce. Disappointing. Yeah. They don't Just let don't me do this Kavak in real life. about the energy weapons we can make. But now Kapak has a cat pack. Yeah. I already know about the energy weapons. He knows. Uh, I think my system might be working. Oh yeah? Have you got the logic set up as well? Yep. Is it working to control the ice without the external door? Or does it need the external bit? I think it still needs the external door. Uh, I could leave the door open tomorrow night and see if it still works, but I don't think it's enough. Okay, well if it's if it's working like that, then that's a system that you can apply to our current rooms, which would be helpful. Because it's, like, Nev and I, it's going to take us a little while to get this thing running. Especially while Nev tries to figure out whether his defines here are actually working. Yeah, okay. Yeah, ice is still forming if the door is open. But if the door is shut, it doesn't? Yep. What's the pressure in there with that vacuuming it out? So, it it takes a while to drop down. But do, is it, it's probably dropping down low enough to cause the ice to sublimate again. Huh? If the pressure's low enough, the ice there will sublimate even if the temperature's like at lower temperatures. I, I think it's some external factor. Because with the door closed and sucking the air out, it keeps clear. But with the yeah. door open... Yeah, yeah, but what's the pressure in there? It's the same as outside pressure, because it takes forever for it to to suck out, but it's enough that it stops so ice from falling. Outside pressure is currently 13. Close the door. Oh, I was reading 9 in there for a bit. And slowly, yeah, it's lowering at like 100 pascal or well, 200 pascal a second. Epic, do you want to come out again? Uh, oh, I, I don't know. Are we getting more potatoes? I'm not sure. Uh, no. Those are all the potatoes for now. Right. And I'm going to make a fix for that system because this is not working. What's what's the what about your system's not working, Shadi? It's just that we need two people to transport potatoes. Oh right. Well, we need somebody in here to put them in the fridge once they're through the the vent system. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And that is what I'm going to fix. How so? Uh, the refrigerated vending machine has shoot access and it's very easy to extract from as well. Ah. Cool. Doo -doo. How we go? Kamak, you coming out? Yeah, I guess so. Everyone's well, helmets are closed the... and locked. 
Did the power oh, just come out the base? Opened. Come back, your helmet's open. There we go. Uh, uh, the power's... Who is working on the wires? Yeah, the power's jittering on and off. Yeah. Shadow, were you working on wires then? Are we exceeding no. the power cap somewhere? Oh, we might be on the transformer. Someone using uh... the arc furnace? Yeah. Um, so we, yeah. We'll need a, another branch off to split this. Whoa! <laughs> what just happened? Black Shadow <laughs> jumped as some plastic sheets were coming out and it just launched her across the. <laughs> right. Wait, uh, what? what? Um, ice is forming in the thing I've made despite the fact it's. Yeah, it'll do that. Okay. Oh, it's an interior court. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll we need can... to play during the day anyway, TFE. Yeah, Unless that's you're right. planning on putting or lights in. we can in. play with the, with the eyes. <laughs> I was thinking, you need to put lights in, or I need to change the roof to be... You can see out. Yeah, maybe some windows. I think Wait, I can't use, uh... to be alive. What, what was that about being alive, Shadow? That cat might actually be alive. It's twitching and it looked at me a moment ago. I actually <laughs> moved around to stare straight into my eyes. I'm scared. Wait a second, its shadow is moving. I can see it. Yeah, it's moving. Yeah, if you look from outside, its shadow um, is breathing. Yeah, it's alive. Hmm. Not if I can help it. <laughs> you stay away from that cat. <laughs> And now we know why Kavak makes a gun. I very uh, much um, am on board with the repainting of the greenhouse. I like it. Yay. And I noticed you got the floor in there too. Yep. Cool. And a light. Our first ever light. Two, actually. Two? Oh, I couldn't quite see it from this side. Yeah. First it's functional nice. light. I technically nice place one, even though I haven't hooked it up. <laughs> It's where I feel safest because I'm far away from you guys. I mean, uh... Wow. <laughs> TFA, I noticed you're missing something on this. Uh, what? A door? No. The door is the... Yeah, those windows along the front and back wall not being complete is intentional. Um... Oh, is that the goal? Basically, is, yeah, throw the ball through one of the gaps on the other side. And the pink oh, you, is sort of like the middle. Down the three on the inside down this end so they're clearer? Or is, or is all of these a goal? All of them are goals, yeah. I did... I'm not sure if I want to have the three at the bottom to make it easier or have them at the top to make it harder. Uh, sure. I think maybe you'll need some playtesting to figure that out. Well, yeah. How do I put potatoes back in the vending machine? Uh, there is a shoot input right there. Just place it in there. It will automatically sort it back into the vending machine. Between the lockers. Huh? Between the lockers. Come back. The thing that looks like lockers. a TV screen. You're not at the lockers. What? That's not it. Yeah, it is. What the? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that burning machine is not going to last a long time here. I think the vending machine's a great idea. I think it's awesome that you set that up, Shadow. I'm surprised you didn't... Well, you probably did try and tell us, but you had your radio off. Well, she did say that uh, she was planning She said to. she was doing it, but not that it was done. Yeah, and I was also not talking about my plans of making an automated oven so I can fully automate it. Thedo goes in, and cook Thedo goes into the vending machine. I do like that you get to throw the potato back. Yeah, and eventually you all get half eaten potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do we have any That's sharing okay. food. <laughs> yeah. Ah, the ice has started raining from the skies of my uh, arena. I guess I will just do it. I don't, yeah, I, if, I can tell you what I did. Yeah, I'm just curious about the raining, at the, but the hail in TFE's arena. Yeah. Oh, was it when um, sunrise happens? According to Capac, it just. There's like a hurricane going out. Yep. Yeah, there's like a mini tornado in the middle. Oh, that's a lot of ice. Yeah, I think me constructing the composite window ceiling is actually making it worse. <laughs> oh, it's it's raining. It's hailing ice in here. Well, we wanted to terraform the planet. It's now 
Hailing nitrous oxide. This is ridiculous. TFE's, yeah. TFE's actually created weather and Splitsy's more interested in writing some code. Well, I'm trying to fix things related to the weather. Oh, the sun's rising. Also, Brace. I was oh. happy Brace. to let you guys see it. Doom! Doom! Oh, the ice is it's moving. going to take a little bit longer. It's the minus sun's 19 come degrees. Yeah, oh. not for long. Oh, oh it's... Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Chunks of it are just sublimating all at once. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm actually whatever glad you're I doing this. is causing a lot of latency. <laughs> I bet it is. There were a lot of balls of ice rolling around. Oh, it wasn't as violent as I was hoping for. No. Anyway. So, Nev. <laughs> Back to what we were doing before Cabo distracted me. So we were at Ingress set somehow exterior not, event on... Somehow not doing what I think it should be doing. Yeah. I would like to know what the pressure inside is now. Can I actually read that from this gas sensor? Uh, there's... You can read it from this bit of pipe here, Nev. Oh, it's 14 still. It's a bit beyond Not the valve. Not what I expected. Oh! Whoa! Ah! I almost got blown away. I was jetpacking. <laughs> yes, so was I. <laughs> Luckily, I got pushed against the wall. <laughs> oh, is there a storm? Yeah. What do you mean, oh, is there a storm? I'm, I'm deep underground. <laughs> oh. Well, okay. I guess best best time to write programs is when it, oh. the weather is terrible. Uh, I guess that's why I can't <laughs> so move. True. Okay, the more powerful jetpack is not enough to stand oh. up to the storm. Okay. <laughs> yep. the, we did the, the ingress loop itself, we did. It will need the heating stuff oh. later, but we will just do Let's without just the heating stuff first. first. Yeah. yeah. So from the ingress, we turn on the external vent, we go into the depress loop, which waits until the internal pressure uh -oh. is at zero. Ah! Yep. Um, this might be bad. Then we need to set up uh, ingress oh, press. Oh, uh, where am I? Hmm. Which uh, I've got way down the bottom, at six. Oh, uh, this, this, this just above is our, bad. Our yeah. What's wrong, Capac? Uh, well, I fell into a wormhole. Um, you broke in your suit? No, no. Like, when I say I fell into a wormhole, I fell into a wormhole. I don't know where I am anymore. Um, what do you see? Rocks. Oh, wait, um, hang on. I'm in a wait. small cave. How much power do you have? Uh, I'm at about 50%. Hang on, on a nuclear can... battery or a large battery? On a nuclear battery. Okay, so you're fine on power. How's your yeah. oxygen level looking? He is 300 uh, meters away fine. from the base. Uh, how many How meters. many kilopascal in your oxygen tank? Uh, oh. Uh, just under six. I'm fine Hang for on. oxygen. I'm six megapascals. to find him. Okay. So I think Kabak's just got to wait in his hole until the storm's over, and then he'll have to drill... Then you'll have to dig up, stupid. <laughs> uh, seems like it. I yeah, need a battery though. Yeah, 300 meters from the base. The battery in my tablet has run out. Oh, uh -huh. so he can't even use the tracker thing to find his way home. Yep. That's right, I'll swap out the one from my drill, swap the tracker in. It's so hard waiting Let's through see, this is stuff, isn't it, Nev? That way, okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so ingress press. Oh, I just had a spectacularly stupid idea. Ooh. What's that? Try to do the ski jump. <laughs> <laughs> you'll only be able to do it one way. Like, you'll have to go with the wind. Yeah. But we won't be able to see you, and you won't have any idea where you are. Yeah, and the wind's blowing in the wrong direction. Yeah, and it seems to be this is the prevailing direction for the winds when the storms come through. I'm back. You're back? Yep. How'd you manage that? Yeah, you dug just, my way out. You just dug up? Followed the tracker home. Okay, we are in state zero. Pressing the button. Lights are flashing and it's very confused. It's still confused! State three, state seven, state three, state seven, state three, state seven. You guys are getting higher numbers. <laughs> Do it. 
Let me know when I dare to test the airlock. Actually, Capac. Eh? Do you mind being a guinea pig? What? For what? For the airlock. Is it dangerous? All right. Just let me finish this. You say you'd have two you guinea pigs. Unless you want to be the guinea pig. No, Capac's a better test dummy. He's dressed in orange. How much cable are you making? That means it's easier for oncoming traffic to see me. I'm oh. making that much. Uh, there's a... You want to That's make right. stuff like cable, there's a, like a separate electro printer over here with a uh, stacker, which is helpful making cables. Yeah. What do you want me to do? So, Nev, are we ready to, the Capac to test this? Uh, this. sure. He might be stuck in there forever, but... Uh, I got my flares yeah. ready. So, go inside and press the far door. Okay, keep pressurizing. Although there isn't a thing in here to show me what's happening. Yeah, we can no, put like no. a label in there or something. <laughs> yeah, we can we can put monitors in oh, to a light no. setup. Get some colored lights. Yes. Have like a red light and a green light and have it turn green when it's pressurized. That would be real cool. Uh just shifted. Um both of the door panels have gone green like I can open them. But it hasn't opened the door. It hasn't. Uh, do you want me to check the atmosphere? Uh, why? Uh, there's nothing in here? Yeah, your vacuum. That doesn't right. seem right. Any thoughts, Nev? Uh, when I try to open this door, it temporarily turns red and this vent turns off, but it doesn't open. If I open this door, it also turns red, and the vent well, turns off, and luck. it doesn't open. See ya. Oh, yep. It's in the weird state again. <laughs> it is. It really <laughs> doesn't like if Capac both out. doors are closed for it. some reason. <laughs> well, we've made a Capac prison. That's right, I got a crowbar. Ah, no. I'm free. Did you crowbar the door? No. Oh, I restarted the system, so we start with the open door. Ah. Okay. Um... Well, this is annoying. So why does it not work yet? We reached the point where it, it was zero atmosphere in there, so the depressurization apparently worked. Nev, do you wanna do you wanna have a just a moment of quiet time having a look at that code and I'll get TFE to explain his rules of his game to me? Sure. I'm more confused as to why there's no ice inside it anymore. It's not cold enough yet. It's only yeah. just fallen night. Hey, if it's still 35 degrees. Okay, TFE, what's what's the go here? What's what's the plan? Um It's basically throw the ball from one side to the other and try and throw it through the gaps in the wall at the other end. Okay. Um, well, I'm not sure how whether this is impossible. Oh. Or whether I've made it too large. <laughs> yeah, okay, it seems like I need to make it slightly smaller. <laughs> I was a bit optimistic in how far you could throw it. Well, Wait, yes. can you throw small objects further? Like the, um, cat? <laughs> hey, spare cat. Yep. Just clone a new one. Okay. <laughs> uh... I mean, we could play... Hang on, can you drop the cat for a sec? I just thought up another game we can play if... What, like horseshoes but with oh. cats? Yeah. <laughs> if we can paint them. Yeah. Oh, we can't paint Toy Luna. Wait. No. Actually... Ooh. So... Wait, can you paint the I'll basketballs? A... You can. Oh, because you can we do can like... play bo bowling. Yeah. Like bowling like, or um... Bowls. Like as in lawn bowls. Yeah. Or bocce. Hmm. Uh, does the ball stop eventually? <laughs> I don't know. It seems it to like be it's slowing down. To. Yeah, it looks like... It's so it looks like it does have friction. Yeah, and we can we... just paint them the color of our suits, then we yeah. know who's a who's. Who's a who's. Come back in. Mm. Alright, uh, I'm gonna get a point. Oh, you get like a runner. Yeah. Add skill. It's really tricky when the default throw button is J and to run forwards is W. The default <laughs> is Q. Is it? 
Oh, right, I changed it because I'm fed up constantly dropping everything. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no! Come back! <laughs> no, it's going down a hole! So what are the- what were the rules supposed to be? Like, how many players- is it 1v1? I, I'd is assume it'd probably be 2v2. If you want to get really crazy, you can even have more than one ball at a time. Well, probably you almost want to. You need a way for the balls to get caught when they're outside. So yeah. that we can see where the most... Like, if you start with, say, ten balls across the middle... Where's the red do one it, gone? Like, dodgeball. I think we've lost the red one. It might have no, fallen down. No, the red one came castle. back. Did it? Yeah. yeah. I saw it go outside. I know. So the idea I <laughs> thought might work here is if you played it more like volleyball, where you can't let the ball touch the ground... Mm. And if you put like a, if you put a wall in the middle, that was the problem. Is that I couldn't find like a half block. Oh, well, full block would back. be fine, wouldn't it? Yeah, I guess. I guess so. Yeah, with the height the ceiling is. Oh, <laughs> the ice is back to make it more challenging. <laughs> yeah. So, because as it is, it's kind of hard for you to stop that going through. Mm. Is that going to be a problem? Mm, I don't know. Whoa! Jeez. <laughs> okay, so if you, you jump, jump, if you jump forwards while running, yeah. Uh, hey, I got it out the top one. What? The ball go. Uh oh, I think I just lost our orange ball. No. Like all down the sides. It doesn't help. There's a chasm there. Yeah. I'd uh, no, I went out the. I threw it out the top hole, and it just went. Hmm. I think. I think. I think your um goal system might need some capture. Yeah. <laughs> I like the idea though. I like how this ice has also got me thinking. What happens if you basically make like a? Because we a know. Because we know when this all um melts in the morning, it applies force. I wish you made it like basically a cannon with a cap on one end. Um, you can destroy a hard suit. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Bring back some memories, eh, Capac? Sounds like something we might have done before. <laughs> so, TFE, did you want to play a round of whatever you imagined this game was? Eh, uh, sure. I'm not sure where it's going to go, but... Well, that's why I thought, may as well try it. And... But who's going to be the referee? Capac? Actually, why uh, don't I be the referee? I'm a little far away at the moment. Oh, say, Shadow, do you want to play against me? Uh, no. Oh. I'm actually trying to get stuff done. Hey! Hey! This took a this lot of work. important. Recreation's important. It's valuable. Why do you think I have a score on me? It's plenty for me. What are you trying to get done right now? Uh, currently setting up the greenhouse, so we filter out the oxygen and then, uh, at CO2 or nitrogen when needed. Okay. I was a bit worried when uh, you said filter out the oxygen. What are you doing with the oxygen that's going out? We're only going to put it in the atmosphere, but it's uh, available through a pipe. Oh, it's so terraforming. Yeah. Yeah, you're slowly letting the, uh, the potatoes terraform the planet. <laughs> Somebody has to. You hey. guys have all just been polluting. Alright, TFE, we can, we can just umpire ourselves. So remind me again why code is better than uh, just logic. This is this is gonna make it really interesting with the um. <laughs> uh, to do what Nev and I are doing with with the logic blocks, you'd probably need about forty of them. Well, I figured right. out one problem. Like if you are using a batch command to change a oh. bunch of stuff, and then trying to change it specifically, we should always yield in between. Oh. Ah. Okay. So that that helped a bit. I'm still trying to figure I'm out terrified what of what's going to happen when the... is going on. <laughs> I picked up the cat. You picked up the <laughs> we got, got the ball. I don't... Oh, look at the cat bouncing around. Uh... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it really is just it's, jump to block it, isn't it's it? It's very difficult to grab it. <laughs> oh, you got it out! Yay! I was trying to get out the top one, which I didn't. So that's one point to you. What is it first to? Uh, I don't know, three? Oh, I've bounced off the... Uh, 
Yeah, oh. block it. yeah, you can just block it with your body instead of worrying about trying to grab it. Yeah. Just <laughs> 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 <That> side. <laughs> Uh, Those are some yeah. interesting noises coming from you. Yeah, like some kind of sensor would be nice. Hey! Oh, did you just score? Yeah. Oh, gee, you're too far away for me to actually see the ball. Yeah. Oh, no, ball here. I think the court might be yeah. a bit big. Uh, oh, it just you... bounced out! Oh, it's back on my did side. I keep, did I keep I jumping back? Wait, I think to go high you'd have to, like, jetpack up. Like, really quickly. It's like... Uh, yeah, got it out. Uh, where is it? Don't lose another ball. Potentially. Wait, okay, I... we need a backboard. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise we're gonna run out of iron because of all the balls we throw out. It's iron that they use, don't they? Silicon? I forget what it is. Or is it silicon? It's kind of saying there isn't like a pressure sensor because then you could just like put them along the back wall. Basically, we're faced with the problem that I was always faced with whenever I played golf. Massively overshooting. <laughs> Can't find the ball. Oh, found the balls. What? Wait, multiple? Yep. What, they all fell down the same spot? Found the orange one. Yep. Ow. <laughs> this hole. Of all the ones. Wait, how did it... It's not even in a straight line. I like reckon when... it bounced off or, this slope. Yeah. And then or or when I tried one. to save it, my head, like, deflected it out <laughs> at a weird angle. Yeah, maybe. Hey. Oh, no, you scored! Uh, so you win this round. I think there are too many holes, TFE. Yeah. Or alternatively have more players. Well, I still think there's too many holes. You think the airlock is working now? <gasps> it is? Sorry, <gasps> TFE. I'm distracted. Airlock. Airlock. Airlock is exciting if it's working. It is. So, Nev, what, what changes did you think needed to happen? Um, Shall I dare to test it? Yeah, you can. I, I already first. did. Um, I basically I added a lot more yields every time we basically uh, changed the settings. Right. It was sprinkled all over, so every time there's a jump to a new state, I basically added a yield, so it yep. all is consistent, and then it started working. You have to verify okay. that it actually clears out the gas because the interior pressure is so low; it basically does it instantly. So it's hard to tell if it actually reaches zero. Uh, do you want me to release some gas in here? Uh, sure. It might be better if we actually produce a very clean atmosphere so we see that nothing leaks. So we should probably uh... empty that out first and then uh, only release oxygen or something. Okay, we can do that. Um... We can probably back outside. repurpose oh, some of the infrastructure here. <laughs> Yeah, we can repurpose some of the uh, other the other test airlock. I know. Um, temperature is very high in the uh, it's easy and drinking area, such that I get a warning for it when I open oh. my helmet. Oh, so right. It's, it's 52 degrees. We need degrees. cooling set up in there, too. We should have an air conditioner what? around here somewhere. Uh, why is my suit uh, saying my oxygen's my... critical? When my tank is... Oh, no, I'm out of filters. Yeah, they had to, I had that problem earlier. Yeah, pick oh, up. Oh, maybe our um our oh. portable aircons got destroyed. If Nev's managed to get this airlock script to work, the next thing to do is to add. Have you added the heater component into it yet? No, no, not at all. I only tweaked and bug fixed it a bit. I didn't actually change anything fundamentally. Okay, so the 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 next test will be set up the heater, and if the heater then works, we can then set up this system for the airlocks for the new base um and then there was one other function i thought we could add to the airlock script nev you might have to start compressing it because we're like at 110 lines or something but yeah yeah the so the only other function i thought might be useful is whether we could have this as an airlock script because whether we have an alternate airlock script that's for internal airlocks yeah, like, like a pass-through airlock. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. But we should probably design that completely. Well, not completely, a, but maybe differently. Yeah. But I think a pass-through airlock internally just to ensure that if we depressurize one room, we don't lose it everywhere. Yeah, I wanted to, to talk about that when we started to build the base more that we like leave room for airlocks between major rooms, 
even if yeah. you don't install them, but like one block that we can put doors on. Yeah. Because I think I think that'd be great to have a safety net. I accidentally set the vent to inward and repressurized the space. <laughs> so I'm a dum dum. Oh, it's at zero in there now. Vacuum. Yeah. Yep. Very good. Uh, the tank is empty as well. That looks good. Right. Oh, probably should have brought a um, flare in with me. Yeah, that's great for morning. Oh, the sun is coming up. Hey, it's daytime. Oh, great. As I get in here with the flares. <laughs> huh. The flares aren't working. They will as soon as the sun melts one of these, though. And then the whole thing explodes. Possibly. I only dropped 100 in here. It should be fine. Yeah, I would need to open, like, my... Wait, if I open my oxygen tank... Uh... The sun is already up. I think you could wait another minute. <laughs> Why did you stop him? We still don't have his school. <laughs> as if I was gonna do it. Doesn't stop oh, me from hoping. That did it. Oh, I threw it into the sun. Oh. I threw it so it got sunlight on it. There we go. Flying words. We have movement. Uh oh, the oh, We're up to seventy-five kilopascals. The... <laughs> Eighty. Um, the ice is smashing you in the face. It's moving around so quickly. Yeah. Can they actually do damage if they go fast enough? Oh, they got. Uh, yeah, they definitely can. I'm surprised they didn't. Okay, 120 kilopascals of nitrogen and oxygen. Let me cycle the airlock a couple of times. In a perfect world, the uh, atmosphere should stay stay pure. Hopefully. Yep. Uh. Nev. Huh? Are you stuck? Yep. <laughs> Well, see you later. Like, yeah, if there's 626 hey. kilopascals of gas in the thing, and it's not pressuring beyond 101 kilopascals in here. We have a zoo. Hey. <laughs> I think I deep. might know why. I'll, I'll be over in a sec. Uh, okay, so it's the, over, we the overrides we set up, before. but we set on the vents. Oh. Why? Remember the, the vent limits I talked about? Mm hmm. Well, which cycle is it in? It's in state 6. State 6 is ingress pressurization. Internal vent is on. Hmm. Yeah, I released it, you. Oh, he even have like, some like bumpers on the ah, edge. I'm free! He's escaped! Aww. Still makes me wonder why I forgot about its mode. Well, I think we might have to figure that out next time. We have managed to... Well, TFE's built an arena which... We're going to need to do some more testing and figuring out what sort of game the two of us slash five of us will end up playing in there. I kind of do like the idea of something like bowls that we can all five of us yeah. play at once. Because with odd numbers, you kind of want individual things. Mm. Uh, we could also try and play soccer, as Shadow is proving that you can kick the ball. It's very... I'm trying to stand <laughs> on the ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, Aha, oh. Success. Yeah, you got it. Yay! Does it only work if you're in the corner? <laughs> hang, on, yeah. hang on, hang on, hang on. Shadow, look up. Oh, I am oh, moving. Oh, oh. <laughs> and Nev and I managed to get an airlock that mostly works, which means we should be able to customize it for the purposes we need for the new base. Lights. Which means after two weeks of not doing anything, we can start working on the new base again next week. Lights, more lights. Why are you saying lights, more lights? Get the airlock. Oh, you want yeah, lights we, in the airlock? We can yes. add status yep. lights yep. or something like that. Yeah, we will have status lights, but you can also see it. Your suit gives you all that information on your HUD about the pressure and the temperature around hey, you. Hey, that's boring. I know, uh -huh. we should have lights as well. But that is for next time. 
Uh, next time we're gonna work on the new base and we're actually gonna start moving. Capac and I will do a whole bunch of drilling. We're gonna get some big drills like TFP's yeah, carrying. Yeah, make it the minigun drill. Ooh, that's really a big yes. drill. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And Shadow will balance on a ball then. Catch you next time, everybody. Bye. See ya.